Welcome back to the channel guys, uh, it's cold, the heater is just getting started so it's warming up over here but uh, let me show you what I've got. So what we've got here is a set of tins for Harley Davidson Fatboy. Um, these have been prepared, painted, not by me, I uh, already got them in red there were a couple of minor imperfections i had to deal with but uh it's pretty fresh as it is um i stripped down the base layer of uh, clear coat so as you can see it's currently matte and i've already started laying down a base design for the front mud guard rear mud guard will be the same and actually do something on a petrol tank it's not going to be anything too fancy the other one is something rather simple but I'll take you for the journey. Let's get it done. Here we go, guys. It's the first job of uh, 2024 for me. It's cold. It's like minus one outside. But uh, heater just got on. Within half an hour, should be working temperature over here. But I'm going to waste no time. Uh, what I'm going to do, just mask up a simple design. Because it wants to be black in the middle and uh, with a silver outline. Uh, with some fancy shading, you know, but uh, we we'll get to that later. I just want to get it symmetrical, so it's kind of matches the front, but I also it's symmetrical within its own design. And the best way to do it I always go by eye, I always go the first part anyway I always go what looks best when I'm looking at it because uh, you try to go measuring tapes and and do it right you know but sometimes what's best with numbers it doesn't really work with the curvature of the of the tins of the rear mudguard so I always look at it if it looks right it's gonna look right and then I'm gonna replicate it exactly on the other end then when the, when the measure attempts comes handy but right now the first line is always, I always do it by eye, you know, and uh, I'm not happy with this one. I can see it's okay over here, but it goes a little bit too too narrow to the edge towards the end of so I need to redo the other side. But uh, I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to show you when it's done. We're going to move on to the um, petrol tank. That's going to be a little bit more interesting. So here it is. The rear fender is now masked out. You can see the pattern what's going on here. Front. And the rear, I'm going to do kind of a teardrop design and something else on a petrol tank. Let's get it done. Okay, so I've got a shape I like, very classic kind of shape, and as I said before, um, for me anyway, it, it doesn't really work measuring perfect shape like this, you know, because there's so many different curvatures around the petrol tank, uh, laying a paper tape or the uh, uh, textile tape, it, it doesn't really work, taking the measurements from here and today, it, it just, mathematically for me, it just never looks right. So. I do what I just did, you know, I've done one line, I stood, stood back, I had a look at it, I went too far this way, so I went a little bit back over here, then I didn't like that curvature over there, that shape, so I made it a little bit less uh, sharp, and I changed the line on top, the line on the bottom was pretty good, you know, as it was, so I'm happy with that shape, and now I need to replicate this shape to the other side, and I'm going to show you how to do it so it's exactly the same. Now. We in a little bit comfortable position because you will never see the petrol tank from two sides at the same time. But you know, you want to do it right, you want to do it right. So it's a very simple trick. Just take tape. You can get a specific, um, very high transparency tape uh, for this purpose. But regular tape works just as fine. You know, we don't need to pay big bucks for the uh, fancy stuff. 
regular tape will work just fine. Just need to cover the whole thing with with tape, basically. And because you got the lines underneath, you'll be able to see through it. Uh, try to work on the flat surfaces if you can. Smaller pieces of tape work better than big pieces of tape for obvious reasons. You don't need to be perfect, but you need to cover the entire surface of that design. And beauty of the tape, it kind of rolls back. It doesn't matter if it's wrinkled up. We just need to get the exact shape of that teardrop, the classic teardrop, so we can trace it and take it to the other side of the petrol tank that is. Right, once this is covered, you can take your pen, your pencil, your sharpie, your whatever you've got handy. I've got a pencil here and just loosely go around that design of a tape. It helps because the tape I'm losing, using underneath, it kind of gives you a edge to lay your pencil against and you can trace it quite nicely through. There you go. You can then use a marker pen or uh, this one as well now, but you've got the idea, you know, once you got it up and running, you can just trace it nicely, better, and, and now you can take it off. Try to take it off in one piece. This can be a bit tricky, but be careful, it will come off in one piece. Don't know if the camera can pick it up, but uh, there it is, the rough shape of that of that teardrop. All I need to do, just trace it with scissors and I'll take you to the next step. If you can, you want to avoid placing it on a flat surface and trace it with your uh, X-Acto knife or Stanley knife because uh, the pressure tank, the shape of it is not flat and the tape with the other wrinkles and everything kind of adopts the shape of it. I mean again, it's not 100% perfect you don't need to be because we're loosely tracing it around but try to avoid placing it on a flat surface because you make life a little bit more difficult for yourself now what I was saying uh, is not a flat piece you can kind of see how it's got this curvature over here going on and the beauty of tape is you can just push it the other way around and it absorbs this curvature from the other end so it's perfect to place it on the other side of a petrol tank to make life a little bit easier for us well for me <laughs> I'm gonna just place a little bit of a double sided tape well it's a single sided tape but I just roll it around like that and stick it on the uh, back of that design just so when I place it on a petrol tank on the other end, it will stay in place. Yeah, you can use magnets and uh, and all that, and you can even go fancy and just lay it complete with tape and use the other side of it, but uh, this method works just as well. And this way I'll be able to stick it on the other side and trace it back. Okay, so now is where the flexible uh, tape measure comes handy. Um, we want to replicate that design on the other side of a petrol tank the best way we can. We already got our stencil cut out here from a tape, loosely cut out, but we want to make sure it's placed in exactly the same way. We've got a number of reference points here, so we've got them cutouts for the uh, petrol and the uh, um, fuel gauge over here. We've got cut out here for the instrument cluster and uh, kind of visible the central line of a tank as well that's all very handy we can use that so 
I need to take measurements from uh, the cutouts to the top of the design, the bottom of the design, from different points of the petrol tank and make sure I can replicate it on the other side. I'm going to put some marks over there with my um, uh, Stabilo pencils, Chris pencils on the other side, put loose marks and then put my stencil on the other side and trace it out with tape. Let's see if it works. Over here guys you can see me marking up the key points of the design so I can place that stencil loosely over there. It will stick to uh, the, the curvature of the petrol tank and from there I can trace it around with a tape. And over here you can see me placing a Harley Davidson number one design. Uh, I've cut it out my plotter. Um, the customer wanted uh, that number one to be incorporated in that design to be part of that teardrop design um, which uh, we have agreed on you know, previously. So I'm just loosely placing it over here. Once it's done on one end, I'm gonna take some measurements again and replicate it on the other end. Obviously, it's a number, so it's gonna be mirrored, so you can read it from left to right. But the placement of it is gonna be exactly the same spot. Once this is all masked out, you can see me laying a very basic layer of white. Um, it's gonna be a pinstripe of silver, but I'm using white first just to block out that base color. Uh, if I use just silver, I could achieve the same effect, but I would need to lay down probably thick five or six heavy layers of, of silver, which would look kind of clumsy when you remove the masking tape. Uh, very thick. You can hide it under the clear coat, but it's a lot of work. Uh, this way, I can lay down two very fine layers of white, follow by another two fine layers of silver, and the difference is amazing. It's not only easier to work with, but it actually looks better in my opinion. So I'll lay a couple of layers of white, followed by a couple of layers of silver pigment, and we're good to go. And now I'm laying that silver, uh, silver top color, and with the white underneath, it's very easy to cover this with complete coverage, and it will make it pop even more. And that is all what I have time for today, unfortunately. Um, if you want to see part two of this video, which is going to be complete uh, with the artwork and clear code and everything else, tune in for part two, which is going to be posted in just a few days. But until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. Drink beer, rock hard, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers. That's a good one.